Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind. And today we are going to be looking at this viewer request that I had brought to you by Mimen the Admin. I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much for this suggestion. It is a 2 by one hipster door. It's uh, not a full seamless hipster door, but you guys will see that in a second. But still, this thing is pretty awesome. It opens really cool. You can't see any visible redstone the way that I've got it set up here. You hit the button, opens right up, hit it again, it'll close. We got it on each side so that you can get in and out of this thing real easy. And then let's just fly around and take a look at the circuit. So as you can see, densely compacted. It's not spread out all over the place. There's a lot going on here, and I'd say it's pretty, pretty tightly tucked in there. But now let's take a look and see the materials that you're going to need to build it. What we're going to be looking at is three sticky pistons, eight redstone repeaters, five observer blocks, four redstone torches, twelve redstone, three droppers, one hopper, one comparator, 31 blocks of your choice for the circuit, two buttons, and then your decoration blocks. So let's just grab all of this. Then we will pop right over here. And just real quick, a quick disclaimer, this is not a seamless hipster door. It's not fully seamless. You can see some of the redstone, but you can hide it very easily as I've shown in the other video. But now let's get into this tutorial. So the way we're going to start this out is by placing a single circuit block on the ground, a piece of redstone on top of it, and a torch off to the side of it. Then we are going to put an observer looking at that torch with two sticky pistons going up. Next we are going to just make this pattern here, a block on the side of it, a block up and then a block up diagonally this way. Put another block on top and a sticky piston up there. Remove that block and then pop those three redstone torches on there just like that. Next we're going to put a repeater set to four ticks right there. Then put a bl two blocks like this and a block on the side of that top piston. Piece of redstone and then a repeater. Set that one to its default delay. After that, we are going to take an observer and have it looking right at this redstone torch. So we'll go ahead and place that. Then we will place a block on the back side of that observer, a block on the top of that sticky piston, or on the side of that sticky piston, and then just like this, a formation just like that. Block on the side of that observer, one repeater set to no ticks, it's default delay. Uh, four ticks of delay on this repeater here. Then we'll put a block on the side of that observer. Go ahead and put an observer staring at this repeater here. Block on the back side of that. And a block on the side of that block. So you should look something like this. Place a piece of redstone here. Then a repeater there set to three ticks. After that, we are going to place a block under there, just like that, with a piece of redstone on that. Next, we're going to go ahead and finish this thing up by placing an observer looking at this repeater right here, with a block on its back side. Two blocks coming off of that observer leading into the piston. We're going to place a piece of redstone and a repeater right there. Set to default delay, no ticks. After that, we are going to put an observer looking at that repeater with a block up, and then you'll just kind of zigzag blocks just like this. Piece of redstone on that block, and a repeater on this block here. Set to default delay again. And that is actually all the wiring all done, and you should be looking something like this once you're finished. After that, I'm just going to grab a lever, and we'll just power this thing and give it a quick test run to make sure that everything is operating properly. 
So let's put a lever down here. This is your input block down here. Turn it on, and that's pretty good. We're going to put our... I'm just putting stone bricks up there. You can put whatever block you want. But I'm going to put two stone bricks up there. Make sure both of them get retracted. And they do. That's perfect. That's just what we want. So now I'm just going to go ahead and quickly build up this frame right here so we have something to work with. And as I said with this design, there will be a little bit of visible redstone, so see, like this. But, we, I mean, we'll be covering it up, but it's not a fully seamless hipster door just because all these piston, you know, the piston that's showing and all the redstone that you have to cover up here. But so here we go, build this up. I'm going to put a floor on it and a frame on it, just the other side just like that. And I'm just going to frame them just that size and everything, so I'll be right back. Here we are, we are all framed up and ready to go, and I'm going to place my button right here. This is going to be our start for our input to uh, open or close our door. So there we go, place a block and a piece of redstone that's directly under our button. Then we'll place a block diagonal to that, block up diagonal from that last block, and you should end up with a pattern like this once you place that last block. And there we go, place a repeater there with a piece of redstone dust on top of this block down here. Blocks like this, I'm placing that fourth block as a temporary block for us to stand on for a second. Repeater running into a dropper facing up, that leads into a dropper facing that way. Then we've got this dropper leading into the dropper facing up and a hopper on top of that. Make sure to fill the hopper and then put a comparator coming out of that dropper right there and we should get a redstone output. Hit the button again, you can see our door opens up just fine. That's what we want, that's perfect. So now if you want an input on the other side, which I would imagine you would want this door closed, once you're on the other side, we'll go ahead and put a button there. Just a line of blocks and redstone on all of them. And then that is everything all totally done door is closed that opens the door again and there we go if you guys found this video useful please do hit that like button leave me a comment and please do subscribe to the channel it helps me a lot thank you so much for watching this has been rob's mind and i'm out